a close shave. Doc, the great western engine, puffs sadly into Edward's station. It's not fur, he complained. Diesel has been telling lies about me and made the fat control and all the engines think I'm horrid. They think I told tales about them to the trucks, and now the fat controller has sent me away. Edward smiled. I know you aren't horrid, he said, and so does the fat controller. You wait and see. Why don't you help me with these trucks? <whistles> Duck felt happier with Edward. He set to work at once and helped Edward with his trucks and coaches. The trucks were silly, heavy, and noisy. The two engines had to work hard, pushing and pulling all afternoon. At last they reached the top of the hill. Peep, peep, goodbye, whistled Duck and rolled gently over the crossing to the other line. Duck loved coasting down the hill, running easily with the wind whistling past. He hummed a little tune. <whistles> Suddenly he heard a whistling sound. Peep, peep, that sounds like a guard's whistle, he thought. But we haven't a guard. His driver heard it too and looked back. Hurry, Doc, hurry, he called urgently. There's been a breakaway and some trucks are chasing us. Hurrah, 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 laughed the trucks. We've broken away, we've broken away, we've broken away. And before the signalman could change the points, they followed Doc on down the line. Chase him, bump him, throw him off the rails, they yelled, and hurtled after Duck, bumping and swaying with ever-increasing speed. <whistles> Duck raced through Edward's station, whistling furiously, but the trucks were catching up. As fast as we can, said the driver, then they'll catch us gradually. The driver was gaining control. Another clear mile and we'll do it, he said. Oh, glory, look at that. James was just pulling out on their line from the station ahead. Any minute there could be a crash. It's up to you now, Duck, cried the driver. Duck put every ounce of weight and steam against the trucks. They felt his strength. On, on, they yelled. I must stop them. I must, cried Duck. The station came nearer and nearer. The last coach cleared the platform. It's too late, Duck whistled. He felt a sudden swerve and slid shuddering and groaning along a siding. A barber had set up shop in a wooden shed in the siding. He was shaving a customer. There was a sliding, groaning crash, and part of the wall caved in. The silly trucks had knocked their guard off his van and left him far behind after he had whistled a warning. But the trucks didn't care. They were feeling very pleased with themselves. Beg pardon, sir, gasped Duck. Excuse my intrusion. No, I won't, said the barber crossly. You frightened my customers and spoilt my new paint. I'll teach you. And he lathered Duck's face all over. Poor Duck. <whistles> Thomas was helping to pull the trucks away when the fat controller arrived. The barber was telling the workman what he thought. I do not like engines popping through my walls, he fumed. They disturb my customers. I appreciate your feelings, said the fat controller, and will gladly repair the damage. But you must know that this engine and his crew have prevented a serious accident. You and many others might have been badly hurt. The fat controller paused impressively. It was a very close shave, he said. Oh, said the barber. Oh, excuse me. He filled a basin of water to wash Duck's face. I'm sorry, he said. I didn't know you were being a brave engine. That's all right, sir, said Duck. I didn't know that either. You were very brave indeed, said the fat controller kindly. I'm very proud of you. Oh, sir, sighed Duck. He felt happier than he had done for weeks. The fat controller watched the rescue operation. And when you are properly washed and mended, he said to Duck, you are coming home. Home, sir, asked Duck. Do you mean the yard? Of course, said the fat controller. 
But, sir, they don't like me. They like Diesel, said Duck sadly. <whistles> Not now, the Fat Controller smiled. I never believed Diesel, he said. So I sent him packing. The engines are sorry and want you back. A few days later, when he came home, there was a really rousing welcome for Duck, the great Western engine.